Hi, my name is Jay with Server Matter and also with CompuMatter. And the purpose of this video is to demonstrate how to connect an Apple OS X environment to a Windows or a Samba Active Directory environment. You know, we tend to think of Active Directory as a Windows thing. It is the typical business environment. A lot of times you're going to find um, you've got an environment where there are some Apple computers attached and you do need to get them on your Active Directory environment. And it uh, requires some digging in to figure out how to do this. Now, you could use the graphical user environment. Um, and most of the tutorials you'll find online will approach from that standpoint. But I really like to have a one-liner, something from a command line that I can integrate into a bash script or, or, or just however, just one straight line, everything's there, hit it, it's attached, done. That's what this video does for you. So anyway, I'll shut up now, get on with the video. All right, let's get started. So the first thing I want to draw your attention to is the name of this particular uh, Apple computer we're using. Uh, apostrophes and spaces, capitalization or camel case, all of that lends itself to possible mistakes, problems, escape issues when you're trying to connect to a domain. So first thing you really want to do is modify that and make it a simple host name. Now, if you type in the word host name from your Apple machine, it's going to go ahead and uh, spit that out for you. We're going to use the command SCUtil uh, two hyphens set host name using camel case and whatever name you want it to be. Well, we like to use all caps because that's what Windows tends to default to, but you can use anything you want. And we're going to SM stands for server matter, obviously an Apple, and this is the first Apple computer we've got on our domain. And we'll hit the enter key there. And you can see in the left side that it is in fact now Snapple 1. All right, let's talk a little bit about what's on the screen here. This command, dsconfigad, I found out today, has been out since 2003. It's a 20-year-old program that Apple began back then to use to connect to the Microsoft uh, or the Samba Active Directory environments to make sure that it could be part of the typical business network. So it's very committed to that, and the uh, command still exists today with whatever evolutions have taken place over time. So let's walk through this. Dash A, Smapple 1 in our case, that's gonna be your host name, uh, followed by, and by the way, those are one hyphen, we get the hyphen domain, our domain name or yours, dash U, administrator, that's gonna be the username that has the authority on your server to allow this connection to take place. The password, of that username and in our case the administrator's password the hyphen lp is the local user's password you don't need to put the local user's name in there they already know what that is but this is so we don't have to go ahead and manually respond to a command this way you can make it a one-liner um, the ou in our case uh, cn equal computers that's going to be typical and then your domain dc information uh, mobile enable and nothing to do with mobile devices. That means when you're disconnected from the domain, do you want this user, this domain user, to continue to be able to log in using that same username and password that they do in the Active Directory environment? That's typically going to be yes, but it defaults to no, so you've got to put it in there. Uh, mobile confirm disable. We don't want the user, in this case, his name is going to be Jerry, to have to um, to be given the authority to decide whether they want a mobile environment or not. That means that, again, like I said, to be able away from the network and use the same credentials. We're making that decision as an administrator. So we're putting disable. Uh, groups, very important. What groups do you want uh, the user to be a member of that is going to be able to log into this computer? In our case, uh, we want to make sure domain administrators can always log in. Uh, remote users is a special group that we've created and that user that this user has to be a member in order to log in uh, protocol smb it's actually the default we didn't need to put it in there um, use unc path enable i forget what that one's about you're going to have to look it up uh, hyphen local home enable means we want this user to have a local home directory uh, typical of the apple environment 
and, and this will default to also providing access to the Linux home folder as a, uh, a network share. So let's go ahead and press enter on that. Okay, we see settings changed successfully. You notice it didn't ask us for any passwords, any interaction whatsoever. It's a one-liner. Now, let's uh, look for some evidence that that actually happened. If we type in the uh, command dsconfig ad again and just put show after it and one hyphen in the word show, it should reply with a bunch of stuff about your Active Directory environment, which it has here. So that's a good sign. Now let's look at the graphical user interface for the Apple environment, which is called Directory Utility. If you weren't using the command line, this is the way you'd be doing it. But the purpose of this video is to show you how to do it as a one-liner and take some of the uh, the hoops out of the picture. Okay, so we've got to, we had to enter the local user password in order to use this uh, Directory Utility. Once we log in, you can see in, it's grayed out, but it's got it's got in there the things that we expected to have in there. Those are the things we set from a command line, computer ID, active directory domain, and so on. And down below, we have some other settings that we created through flags. Create mobile account at login. That was one of our flags. Require confirmation. We turn that off. Use UNC path. We turn that on and so on. So those settings look great, and that all happened from that one liner. So that's our confirmation from the Apple world, so let's see if the Windows world agree. I'm going to slide over a Windows virtual machine which is on that same domain. You see office smvirtual.biz. Under computers, we only show two computers and Smapple is not one of them. So let's refresh this now that we've done what we did on the Apple side of life. And you can see as expected we see the Smapple computer dropping in there. So that's evidence that everything is connected. So let's give it the final test, and that is logging out of Apple and logging in as a domain user. All right, started the logout process. Yes, logout. All right, let's log in with the domain. In our case, we only need to put in the first part of that domain. Not me, no. And fire in the hole. All right, that logged in there pretty quickly. Certainly a lot quicker than the Windows environment. No hello, welcome, and a zillion setups. We can see that the user is the Jerry Lee that we just typed in, so we are absolutely rock solid certain we are connected to the domain by that new user. And that's what I expected to see. There's the server matter and they're connected as Jerry, and there's all our file shares. Jerry has his own home directory here, and uh, we are part of the domain in every way, in the way that we expect it to. Okay, so we've talked about how to get it connected, and let's say someday you want to take this computer or some other Mac computer off the domain. What's the secret sauce for that? There it is. The same DS config AD, but with the remove flag, your domains, credentials, and at the end we've got the uh, local password, whatever that may be. You press enter on that, that will disconnect the user. And uh, I wanted to give you one more command. This last one has nothing to do with the DS config AD. I have had situations where I've disconnected the Apple from the domain, and at some point in the future I wanted to add it back on and it says that that particular computer already exists on the domain. Do you wish to add it to that same uh, machine account? And the answer was always yes, but the fact is I didn't want it to be there to begin with. I would have thought it was purged when I issued the last remove command, but sometimes it does leave those uh, dead skin cells laying around. So this command will certainly purge it. I've tested it from your Windows domain environment should you ever run into that. Um, the one thing I want to point out is this password that you see here is in fact the password for your domain administrator or whatever your user that you're using for uh, that account as a domain administrator. That command will effectively remove the computer from the Windows domain. And I have found if I use it once on this computer, 
I no longer have to use it again. Subsequent removals will pull it off the domain, so it saves it in some kind of way. Well, that's it. Uh, that's all I know about how to connect an Apple computer to uh, an Active Directory environment. In my case, I'm using the Samba uh, Active Directory, ADDC, and it uh, works like a charm. I hope you enjoyed the video. If, um, if you like it, please click the like button. If you're so inclined, subscribe, and uh, you'll be first in line uh, and notified when uh, videos like this uh, show up in the future. Thanks very much for watching. I appreciate it. Bye-bye.